All right, everybody, welcome back to a little ukulele. Although we haven't done it yet, so I guess welcome for the first time. Yes. My name is Paul. My name is Josh. That is what they call him. That's what his his mama named him. Yep. And uh, we're doing a little co-op ukulele. We were playing Castle Crashers. We will come back to that game because that game is fucking cool. Yes, it is. And uh, But we got to play this because this game just came out. And uh, for those who don't know what it is, it's basically Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, old school platformer like Mario 64, that kind of thing. And uh, you basically just go around collecting shit. Yeah. And it, and it got terrible reviews. So this will be interesting. <laughs> Wait, well, uh, well, what's terrible? Because, I mean, it didn't get like a one. No. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a game get a one. Right. Well, I think it got mostly six or sevens, which is basically terrible. Yeah. As far as reviews go. Because, I mean, I, I guess that's the one thing about reviews is no one ever gives it like a one through ten. It's more right. of like a seven through ten. Yeah, that's true. Scale. Because if a game ever got a two, I would be like, what? Did they even like ship the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a pretty low standard. Right. Is it like Mass Effect? You know? Like, <laughs> but I played through this game a decent amount. I don't know. I think it's a pretty fucking cool game. Yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't seen any of it, really, so I don't. I can't judge. I yeah. just know what. I, I mean, just I, know others that have judged. Right. I mean, I can understand why people wouldn't like this kind of game in general. But, I mean, for, for people who bought into it, like, on Kickstarter and whatnot, this is, like, the perfect game, I think. Is yeah, it started out, I saw, as they needed originally, they asked for $200,000, and they ended up getting, like, $2 million or even more Yeah, because they, they, yeah, for those who don't know, yeah, this started out as a Kickstarter campaign. And uh, from the people who made from Banjo Rare. Kazooie, yeah, from the yeah. old people from Rare. Rare. And uh, they made their Kickstarter goal within like 38 minutes or something. This was like in 2015 or something. And they made it within like 38 minutes, their initial goal, and they made their like top goal within the first like 21 hours. So they got <laughs> their funding. People were excited about this. Yeah. And so it's finally out. And so that's the uh, the Gruntilda of this game, the Dr. B, or I forget his name. Capital B, I think is his name. And then the little duck guy. Ah, the cheeky British jokes from the <laughs> British company. Rare is, they used to be British in this part. They used right? to be British, now they're not British well, anymore. Well, <laughs> I don't know what happened to Rare. They all oh, we're, we're, we're no longer British. <laughs> We've lost our British. Oh, howdy. Howdy, how's it going? Oh, no, I'm not British anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a really unfortunate when that happens. I've seen it happen. Dr. Quack. Dr. Quack 2 Cent Gum. Dr. Quack... Oh, you're looking at the thing on him? I was yeah. wondering what you were talking about. So, oh, because... Oh, because he's a quack, huh? I, that does raise questions. Though. Oh, that's so, good. What, did he always live inside that gumball machine? Because it's got his name on it. And it's called Dr. Quack's Gum. I don't know. Because I didn't, I didn't even notice until you just said it that he was living in a gumball machine. I always thought he was just a duck in a tank because he needed water. Then again, ducks don't need water. This doesn't add up. Uh, this doesn't add up at all. And he's supposed to be a doctor? I think he's a quack of mm. a doctor. Mmm. I think you're onto something here. <laughs> I think you're onto something. So, it, these guys are the bad guys. I don't know if you could tell. Yeah, what's going on here? Uh, I, they're collecting letters and books and whatnot. I'm, right. I, it's for, like, a big death ray. It's kind of like what you were expecting. So, I, I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but, like, you're every, they're sucking up, like, books and pages, kind of like Fahrenheit 451, getting all this... I guess it gives them information. And so, it's in the form of, like, floating letters and books and whatnot. See how they're, like, sucking it all up? Yeah. So, that's their mega evil plan. Is to take letters and make a death I cannon? I, I don't know. Okay. All right. Maybe they're just trying to start a school. Maybe we're the Why bad not? guys. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, hey, we need this this text. The, Play the state outside, boo school. The state doesn't give us recess. anything. <laughs> oh, and here's our, our titular heroes just sitting outside enjoying a, a little ah, alcoholic this is beverage. The life. I think this old shipwreck finally feels like home lately. Oh, that's a, interesting. I don't like that voice for him. I, th I think he sounds like a little more rugged. Lately does. Say, howdy, it's about time to renovate this place. Oh my god. Most of the rooms have gotten been touched since I moved in. I don't think he's that redneck, but, uh, you know, to each their own. It's very possible. Insects mainly. Oh, and some old book I've been using as a drinks coaster. Yeah, so I'm guessing this book, yep, that's what happens, I remember now. The book gets collected, and then they suck that up, and then that's the pages we find. That's like the jigsaw of the banjo Yeah, the, the banjo jiggy Kazooie. pieces or mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. I'm not sure what the paint is there for. I, I haven't figured that one out yet. 
Because there's a box bo or a bucket yeah, behind Yeah, multi-purpose like, color paint. Or multi or I th multi-colored paint is what I thought it said, which uh, that doesn't make sense. Multi-purpose paint? <laughs> multi-colored paint doesn't make a lot more sense either. Yeah. Because what is it, like a bunch of colors mixed together? So just brown paint? <laughs> yeah, just black, the mix of every color. Isn't brown the mix of every color? Oh, I thought black. I thought was. black, and I think black is the absence of color. Is it? I think that's. Well, what I mean, on the UV scale, I don't know. We're going too deep. <laughs> All right, color experts, be sure to, to comment down below. And uh, here we are. Use your joystick for what? To control the little bees. The bee. Where are the bees? The bees. <laughs> it should be. Uh, I got it working earlier. All right, pause. And we're back. We got the bees. The bees. The bees are here. Oh god. So that's a little Joshy flying around. This Woo. is how, this is what qualifies the game as co-op. Really. Yep. So this is it. Yeah, so you're uh, my little bee friend. So you get to do, like, everything else, and I get the bees? Um, well, I mean, you get to do everything else. I just get to do, like, running around the level and, like, collecting stuff. And competing and getting yeah, and, like, everything doing done. Yeah, and... doing the races and talking to the guys. Oh, great. And, uh, you know, doing learning all the moves. All right. And meeting all these this cast of fun characters that that's my job i'll just uh you know buzz around you collect stuff for me i'm trying to find the, the snake man the snake man where is the snake man i think he's up here you collect you collecty that's right you collecty <laughs> that's the game for me anyway where is dr snake oh hey what is I, this i think this is a uh, little mr Can cannon hey blasto oh that uh yeah because that's uh banjo uh Kablooey is the other one. There's Blasto and Kablooey. This is Blasto. Huh. We'll meet Kablooey later. See, oh, look, look is that the, it? The little red bird. Yeah. Yep. I wonder who, who does that remind me of? That'll be last night's karaoke. Your performance blew us away. Oh my god, so he killed everyone at the karaoke? That's what I'm getting from this. Because it, cause he's, what's his mouth if he's trying to sing? Yeah. That means a cannonball came out of his mouth, I'm assuming. Uh, and killed the whole crowd. That's terrible. No survivors. He's a murderer. Yeah, Blasto, my god. Oh, I got I got afraid my bees went away. Yeah, you're not doing a very good job collecting stuff for What me, the hell is there to collect? Uh, I'm not sure. We're supposed to... Because I've done this before. There he is. There's our man. If so, do I hit X on it to collect it? or? Um, you'll, you, cause there's nothing to collect right here. You'll see. like It's the, the feathers and the... Um, you'll see. So this is uh, Trouser. He's a snake. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, for kids, Trouser snake. For kids who don't know, uh, Google Trouser snake on the internet, and you'll find out. Like we all did. Like we all did. Perhaps you can find those treasures lying around. I've already tried lockpicking. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, tutorial. Blah, 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 tutorial. Yeah, that's the one thing is like... Banjo Kazooie did it too, so except, there it is. Yes. <laughs> see, 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 so I collect feathers. Uh, yeah. Well, there's others. Are we are we gonna make a pillow or like what? Yes, we're making a golden pillow. Sweet. I hope you're excited for that. Oh, here's where we started. We see we can do a little, uh, little relaxing. Why does Laylee have a bigger pillow than Yuka? I don't know. Much bigger or a pillow? P God damn towel. it. A towel. Yes. Yeah. You could use. I mean, they're they're interchangeable. Yeah. So we gotta go around breaking uh, chess, breaking open chess. That sounds brutal. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of like Mortal Kombat. So do we have to collect feathers right now? Is that what we're trying to do? That's part of it, too. And then these um, uh, little dudes here, these, uh, what do you call them? Butterflies. Butterflies. <laughs> My God. Jesus. Did I just arrive on this Jesus. planet? <laughs> Look at these pillows. I mean, towels. Look at these, uh, what do you call them? Butterflies? Guys, I swear I'm human. <laughs> I, I swear. What are you, human? I mean, what, what do you call us, Josh? So these can give you health, or once we get the ability to start rolling, too, um, they'll give us energy. All right. So, so you can collect those for me, too. And you better collect them good, Josh. All right. There's not a lot around. There we go. See, a... see, I can collect those, too. So if I beat you to them, it's like, really, I'm putting you out of a job. You got to really earn your keep here, Josh. Oh, boy. What a job <laughs> it is to keep. Beekeep? Please. Please, no. What don't, a job it is to beekeep. Don't take my job. They took my job. Oh, God. I keep forgetting I don't have all my moves yet. So I keep trying to make, like, these extravagant jumps. And it is not happening. So I've gotten about, like, probably halfway through this game on my main playthrough. I'm oh, okay. At, I'm about, like, four worlds in. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Because, like, when you get through the level, uh, it's it looks starts out looking pretty small, but then, like, you can What's expand that? the worlds um, oh. when you get enough pages, and then it, like, doubles the map. And you get more skills and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. This guy sells you the moves. He's kind of like the, um, I forgot his name. He was the mole. He was like, hup, hey, yup, 
Hey, yep, yep. Oh, hey. yeah, I forgot about that guy. Yeah, and if anyone wants to see him, uh, you can go There's check out... There's a treasure out. chest. Oh, God, let's get it. You can go check out the uh, the Banjo-Tooie playthrough that we did for, like, ten episodes <laughs> back. Uh, Luke and Eric played through it, and no one watched it. So you can be the first <laughs> to, to watch our Banjo-Tooie playthrough. <laughs> Nobody's seen it yet. Well, it got, like, 20 views on each ah, video, okay. and we were like, okay, fine, guys. Yeah. Fine, we get it. <laughs> yeah, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Hopefully this one does better. Yeah, it doesn't suffer yeah, the same we'll, fate. We'll see if we do more than one episode. This will this. be fun. Please stay, guys. <laughs> what do you want us to do? We'll do anything. No, but I mean, this one is interesting because, I mean, it performs exactly like Banjo-Kazooie in almost every way. Like, you shoot. You don't shoot eggs. You shoot, like, little berries. And, like, all the moves are pretty similar. Yeah. Um, and you'll see, there's a, there's a little, like, there's one that, like, you turn invisible and, like, the rolling, I think, is new. Oh, okay. And you'll see. Is there, like, a... Like a thing, like the bird legs that you used to do? Um, not that I've Kazooie's noticed. Actually, good legs. question. Yeah, I haven't noticed that one yet. Okay. Yeah, maybe you haven't learned it yet. Right. Yeah, because I'm only four worlds in, so there's a bunch of moves I don't have well, yet. Well, you need to crouch. Yeah, I don't have to pay attention to this, because I'm just the Yep, beekeeper. you're just a little beekeeper. Oh, my bees are going to die. Oh, no, yeah. These are some underwater bees. Now, that would be terrifying. That'd be the bees' Underwater knees. bees. Oh my god, Josh. We're gonna need you to elevate <laughs> we're gonna need you to elevate the level of <laughs> conversation. Should you just beep that whole <laughs> Should I alright, it's good. So I'm gonna censor that out. See now all you right. could have said anything. Alright. Josh, that horribly offensive thing you said about every minority just now. Yeah. My god. I hope that doesn't get out. I, I hope you can be forgiven for that. Eh. <laughs> alright, so I'm not reading what they said because it's all tutorial nonsense, but I hope you're all enjoying it. Yeah. For anyone who wants to know how to play without playing it because you're watching <gasps> it on YouTube. Flutterbys. Can you get those? Yep, you can. Nice. Perfect. That'll heal me. So you can actually... You're like my mercy. You're like mm. my pocket mercy. A mm, little less important, but okay. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Lucas isn't going to like you saying that. <laughs> you diss in the mercy game. No, I'm saying mercy's more important. I'm a little less important. Oh, okay. Game. Her role's huge, but... Well, Josh, you know, Mercy just started out as a wee little girl from Sweden, and she became a woman of great importance. You yeah. Can, you can do the same thing, Josh. You can become a woman of great importance. Can I? Mm hmm I don't I know. Believe in you. I feel like the system's holding me down. Yeah, the glass ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> there is a glass ceiling 75, on Josh. What is it? 75 cents on every dollar? Yeah. Well, I mean... Every male dollar. For you, I think, every male dollar? <laughs> yeah. See, I'm only interested in female dollars. Those, those male dollars aren't, you know... Yeah. They're a little hairy, a little smelly. I like my dollars nice and uh, nice and female. <laughs> that would be nice if uh, if bills came in genders. If there was like a male five dollar bill that was like the Abraham Lincoln, and then like th the Mary Sue was the f the female five dollar bill. Yeah, I I I'd like that. I don't think anybody'd care. Like they'd all get jumbled up, and I'd be like, oh yeah. Yeah, I but then you could rub them both on. together, and they'd make another five dollar bill. <laughs> They'd breed like a $1.5 bill. Oh, I don't think anyone would take that. Yeah. So that might be dead currency. Dollar fifty cents. Yeah, so he will give us moves when we're in the hub world for free, but we have to buy them with uh, feathers. So did we world. already go through the first world? Was that the tutorial no, world? No, we just entered the hub. Oh, okay. This is the hub world, basically. Okay. So we'll be back in this room several times. Okay. Like, you can already see a pagey hidden if you look in the background by that fire. There's one behind that fire if you look closely. Above uh, Laylee's head. Yeah. We'll be able to get that later. We can't get that right now. Okay. You should just jump in and try. Yeah, I think I, that'll go well. My bees will get it. My bees will black out the fire. <laughs> See, that's, what's, uh, that's one thing I kind of like. See, this is your job here on this playthrough is because the bees are the bad guys of this game. So, huh. so you need to redeem your people here, Josh. This is your responsibility. Bees rights. That's right, bees rights. Yep. So, just because these bees are out here, you know, oppressing people, you can go ahead and show people that they're not all bad Not bees. all bees are the same. That's right. No. You can sting the bad guys. They'll be like the Punisher. You'll be like the Blade of the Bees. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to the top and grab the little doohickey goo. See, there's the pagey. Oh, no, we can't see it yet. It'll be, it'll, those, I'm, I'm those, just, go bees, go. <laughs> fireproof bees, now that would be, you're already waterproof. It's not that unbelievable. Yeah, that's true. Oh, can I make it? There we go. Oh, my bees disappeared. I don't like that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty decent at this game. I feel like if I circle you, it, it helps you jump. It's not impossible, so you might as well keep trying. There we go. And we got our first little pagey goo. Yay. All right, well, join us next time, guys, as we fight our way to the first hub world. That thing looks stupid as hell. Oh, it's very creepy. <laughs> I'm pagey. All right, bye-bye, guys.